गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इफ यू टू माय चैनल हाय मकांक्षा सो हियर इज अ क्रिसमस ग्लैम आई मीन यू कैन लिटरली डू एनीथिंग फॉर क्रिसमस बट दिस इज समथिंग आई वांट टू डू बिकॉज़ आई हैव नॉट डन दिस यू नो सॉफ्ट ब्राउन विद अ टच ऑफ रेड लिपस्टिक काइंड ऑफ वाइब द क्लासिक क्रिसमसी लुक काइंड ऑफ वाइब आई हैव बीन मीनिंग टू डू इट एंड आई थॉट आई विल डू इट फॉर इंस्टाग्राम बट लाइक यू नो लेट्स डू दिस फॉर YouTube इट वुड बी अ रियली गुड टाइम टू जस्ट sit and do makeup and feel good because this year has been rough and all of us need a break so christmas is here and everybody it's a, it's a happy time at least that one day you can celebrate at least even if you're sitting at home to celebrate don't think about anything just be happy so i just tried to do a different backdrop i hope you like it just wanted to give you a little christmasy feels i i like it i think I mean, I did a good job. I mean, it's not as the best I could, but at at the moment, this is the best I could. So, um, yeah, let's get started. I just hope I'm not looking too green because I don't know how to handle this white balance of the camera. I I, I literally can't do anything in camera. I shoot in auto. Like it's gonna do its job. I'm not gonna meddle with it, but I hope it's. fine so uh, let's start off with moisturizer and i'm using this uh, be minimalist oat moisturizer i've been using this recently and i really like it i will do a uh, like you know review of uh, a lot of products i've been trying from their brand for but for now i'm just going to apply this moisturizer it is a very watery cream consistency and so far i have been liking it so next i'm just going to use a little bit of mac fix plus it just feels like so good i mean like my skin is ready for makeup type of feels every time i use mac fix plus that's the vibe i get i don't know why i'm just looking at myself this new background is giving me such a good feel ah uh, so happy every time i'm bored of some like dull background i think this is really nice this is my mom's saree by the way she's so worried like don't ruin my saree i'm like i'm not going to ruin your saree don't worry my child i mean i'm her child but anyway so for base i'm using this estee lauder double wear foundation in the shade cashew i always use the shade spice sand till now but that used to like you know always oxidize a little bit and uh, be a little darker than what i want so let me just try the shade it's not opery it's a new bottle it's a super long wearing foundation so really perfect for if you like if you want to wear your makeup the entire day and you want to stay like make it stay mad it doesn't move like it doesn't move at all it's extremely mad so i'm just going in with a brush i'm going to dot it yeah i think that's going to be a good match mm. let's see how it oxidizes if it doesn't then i'll add something a little darker spice sand usually does oxidize Let's see if this does. No, we're just going to add a lot of bronzer. Big deals. Many ways wearing a turtleneck. So who's gonna know? Who's gonna know if my foundation is matching my neck or not? Nobody. Nobody. I've been recently loving using a brush for foundation. I mean, just so quick. It is so quick and so easy. I feel like it blends the product a lot better. I've always been a sponge kind of gal, but these days. I'm really liking a brush. I think since the time Mac sent me this one, ah, uh, this is their dual ended brush, and I use this brush for like you know blending the foundation. And I was like, That's so good. And since then, I'm like always like into brushes. I really like this one. This is the Real Techniques two zero four. It's a buffing brush. I have uh, two of these. You'll actually see me trying a bunch of uh, new makeup in other video. So if the products are repeating, just know that when I do that video, I pre-film that video than this. So that's the reason, like I spoke about it as new makeup. This is done. I mean, look at the finish of their foundation. I really like it. Next, I'm going in with this Flower Beauty. Look, it ignore my nail polish and like I, I didn't wear one hand nail polish, but yeah. So and next, I'm going in with this Hello Focus Flower Beauty concealer. This is in the shade Medium Honey. It's going to add a tiny bit. Just like to take it a little down. contour like i mean highlight my face in the direction one dot here one dot here and next i'm using the sponge from lumer cosmetics just blending it out next i'm going in with 
my lord monsieur absolute favorite always will be i guess because it is so good just lightly dabbing the powder with the same sponge on the entire face just a very very light touch of powder just taking a brush and dusting off any powder that is left next for contouring i'm just going in with this wet n wild mega glow contouring palette again one of my favorite from drug store and i'm just going to carve out so i did do a video on contouring and blush previously initially when i got the camera so it was kind of a little messy and a lot of people didn't understand how to do it and how well to do it uh, i really want to reshoot it and add more tips on like you know how i've been doing it recently do let me know if you want to like you know watch that i can make one more new one with better uh, video quality audio quality and a lot better you know tips as well uh, because that one even i was not so impressed but you know i just thought i mean that's how it's going to be with the camera but i think now i just kind of figured out what is a little like you know working a little bit and uh, let's see i want i really want to do it but i only want to do it like if you guys want to watch so let me know in the comments if you would do want me to do like an updated or better version of contouring blush and highlighting um so that it's going to be helpful for you guys taking that on my jaw as well Don't forget that nose. At least I cannot forget my nose because it's like a potato in the middle. And these these days, those kids, I can't even like. I don't know why there's a lot of kids these days. Recently, until today, there were no kids who are disturbing me. Recently, so many people started coming and playing in my right near my balcony. Like I, because I stay on like the first floor, it's quite like the sound is so damn prominent. Irritating. Next for blush, I'm just using this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Velvet Blusher in the shade Coral Dream, and I'm just taking a tiny brush and just going to add this on the high points of my face. I feel like the contour is a little too much. I'm just going to kind of blend it away. Anyway, applying the blush. So. While we're on the note of a Christmas video, let's talk about Christmas a little bit. So for me, um, I don't know, like what I mean, everybody has a different uh, significance for Christmas. For me, Christmas was important because it was holidays. So I was in a convent, like I from KG to tenth. I was in Saint Anne's High School in Hyderabad, Secunderabad. Um, so. No, I don't know why I said that, but basically I was in a convent, so obviously like you know we got ten days holidays for Christmas, ten to fifteen days actually. Like it usually used to start in twenty to twenty first, like or twenty or twenty first of December, and used to go on till New Year, like the second or third of New Year, like basically January, and used to get year long veg like vacations etc. So not year long, what am I saying? Ten days long, twelve days long vacations, and that used to be so like great. So usually what used to happen is so my sister was not in a convent, and she used to get holidays for Sankranti in Andhra. In Telangana, you get uh, with like holidays, ten, fifteen days for Sankranti during January, and I used to always get uh, holidays in December. But so literally, any time we have to go on a vacation, we could never do that because we both of us used to. Have different set of holidays, different set of everything. Anyway, that's not the topic. Let's talk about school events. So because we, I was in a convent, there were so many events, etc. Of course, and we had, by the way, we had holidays right after exams, so that used to be like a big deal. Like, oh, you know, I want exams to be over, and then we'll get holidays. So right before exam started, we used to even have like a Christmas event, etc. So. I played a shepherd so many times. I'll put pictures here, and uh, like if I, if I I have them, I, but I don't know. Let me decide if they're embarrassing enough. They are quite embarrassing, so I don't I don't know. Any, anyways, so uh, I used to be a shepherd. Then there was kids we used to do etc. And we used to like put beards. So I was in an all girls school, so there was no boys to do any role. So everything girls only had to do. So I used to put like this black beard etc. And did and we used to wear some old skirts. Um, and everything, baby Jesus used to be there. I could, I could never be a fairy. I don't know why they never expect me to be a fairy. So I always used to be a shepherd, standing there with a stick, looking at the baby. I didn't even know what I was doing, but it used to be fun. And I actually recently only was checking the pictures, and I was like, it's been a long time, and uh, we've come a long way. Again, I'm going in with a fix plus. I don't know why I said that story. It was just a random. Uncompleted stories. Usually, all my story times are like that. I'm like, I do want to share this, but I'm like, what is the point of sharing it? But you know, that's okay. I don't have to think 
to tell some random story to my friend or it doesn't have to have a purpose a meaning so you all are also my friends so you all also can just listen to my stories and just listen that's it. just try to be a good listener that's what i'm trying to say at least be for me please don't hate me next for highlighter i'm going in with this nika 24k glam highlighter i'm just going to add that so beautiful i love this highlighter it's one of my favorite ones but you have to be a little careful because a little goes a really long way don't have to add too much and then it gets like too pigmented just adding the same thing here time to highlight that nose this is the most satisfying part of makeup for me is always highlighting my nose because that just i kind of feel like pulls everything together because i said that i just ruined it oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, oh uh, oh uh. see that's so nice right it just brings attention to my eyes to the that part of the nose and i just add a little bit here If you feel like it's too much just go back in with your bronzer brush and blend it out see that's why i shouldn't jinx it like any time i say something is really nice it has to go bad i ha i don't know why it got applied so much i don't really like it. it it's too much i mean it's not something it's not a perfect one you know what i'm saying like it's 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 not my best work but i think we can work with it i'm just going to brush my brows using this pure cosmetics eye pencil i've no pencil my bad and i'm just brushing this this reminds me of the benefit precise me precisely my brow it's it's the same you guys really but it's just that it's, it's a little more pigmented and it's a lot cheaper than benefit just adding the same flower beauty concealer on my lid before i go in with my eye shadow so for eyes i just want to go with a very nice soft brown uh bronzy not bronzy really brown i want to go with a matte look so i'm just going to use this uh colourpop going coconut eye shadow palette i've been having this palette since so long but i never used it it has really beautiful browns so i'm just going to start off with lovely bun and cola cola cool lad cool lad cool lad i don't know what this cool lad I'm just taking the Pro Art uh, P. Oh, that is dusty. Uh, Pro Art P E two two. You know what? I'm just going to add Coolada Coolada on my entire uh, uh, lid, and I'm just going to add the dimension back with Nutty. I'm just going to you know make it a soft brown moment. Just love the shade. So beautiful, right? I love how it looks. Just going to do the same thing on the other side. The, I'll put the Instagram page which sent me this palette. I don't remember the name of the page right immediately, but I'll put it on the screen if you want to check it out for like some form products, etc. Blend out the edges properly. You don't want to know where the eyeshadow is like starting. at least not like the harsh line then next i'm just going to add nutty like i'm going to take it on like a what is it like angled liner brush i'm just going to line my lash line i'm not going to add any more color for the um eyes i'm just going to bring this out and then like you know make it like a smoky brown liner type of thing So just I'm just going to go in with this uh, tinier brush, going in with the uh, Coolada, and I'm going to blend it out. Make sure you're pulling the wing towards the brow. Just going to give a lot of definition. Just trying to do a little bit of foxy eye with that. Going to do the same thing on the lower lash line. Next, I'm just going in back with the Nika highlighter, and I'm going to add it in the inner corner and my eyebrow bone. I usually like to go in with the inner corner and eyebrow bone with the same like highlighter I have on the rest of my face, even if I have any eyeshadow, uh, because I feel like everything looks a lot cohesive. All the highlighting points do have the same shade going on. Like if I add like a white of that coconut palette, like white shimmery shade, it would not look as cohesive as I wanted to. So just use the same highlighter which I use it like on my face and my nose etc. Next, I'm 
next dust we have mascara and lipstick left and for mascara i'm just going in with my l'oreal lash paradise and i'm just going to apply very very nicely take my time and apply because i'm not going to add the falsies and i want this to look as best as it can that's the reason i'm going in with this mascara because i can get that with this one yeah i think I did a good job with the mascara. I don't really need lashes. I really actually don't want to wear lashes today. Just want to leave it easy breezy. One thing I would always ask you to do, especially if you do liner and mascara, is to go in with like a pencil. So I'm using the Lakme Iconic uh, Kajal. So this is like a black eye pencil. Only if it could focus. Hello. I took Sony camera because the auto focus is amazing. But this shit in irritates me so much. It doesn't want focus only, bro. Hello, auntie. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I'm just going to take that and line my inner waterline because I don't like to have a wide gap inside. You can see compared to this side, this side. I mean, compared to this side, this side looks a lot fuller. The same thing on the other side. I'll just add a nude liner in my waterline. Because just to open up my eyes a little bit, just taking the Wet n Wild nude liner in Calling Buff. Time for the red lip, and for the red lip, I'm going to use a new product. So Kiro Beauty, K I R O Beauty, or Kiro Beauty had sent me few of their lipsticks, and there was one of the red I really liked and which I really wanted to use. Uh, that one is, and by the way, the red one, I'm so impressed with the shade. The shade is Sandy Mauve. Look at how pretty this is. Look at that shade. It is so beautiful, like so so stunning. I mean, that is the kind of shade I really like. I love me my mauve. So this is the lipstick they sent. This is the shade Mulled Vine. So this is how the shade looks. Uh, on camera, it looks a lot more pinkier. It is a little maroonish, not more like red. But I do like the shade. The formula is very comfortable. It is matte. It looks really matte. I mean, it is a lipstick, matte lipstick. Very, very comfortable. Looks very, very beautiful. Went on really well without any, um, you know, patchiness. I'm just thinking I'll top it off with their one more formula. This is their uh, liquid lipstick type of thing. This is the shade Scarlet Poppy. This is also a little more. Yeah. So this is a little more red. Pinky red type of thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there. So yeah, guys, that's it. That is the finished look. I really love how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video too. Everything I used will be in the description box if you want to check it out. And Merry Christmas. Hope you have a great one. And please be safe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.